So I thought I would share a missed opportunity I had in editing a film that had been shown at Cannes Film Festival. So I don't have many regrets in life, but I have felt this could have made a difference in my career. So after I finished my studies in university, I started working in the bars for a few years. Every now and again, my mate Dan and I would get together and start working or thinking of producing a film. Okay, so this is before I met my other mate Leighton, both of them are very talented writers. So this one time I was talking to Dan and the problem we were facing was funding for a certain idea we had for a film. Dan suggested I look for a producer and started to make some phone calls when I came across one man in particular. He said he wasn't a producer, just felt given that role he would get more doors open up rather than saying he was a low budget filmmaker. We just produced a zombie film on a very small budget in London. This budget was £45. So after a good hour of talking on the phone, he said he was looking for an editor to help him put together his film. And he explained he was looking to show the film at Cannes Film Festival, hey! and he wasn't sure if he could get it finished in time. And I can't remember what I said, but I was over the moon for him, that he was looking to show his film at one of the greatest film festivals of all time. I said I would help, but at the time I was working long hours in the bar and very rarely got time off. So I regrettably didn't contact him again. Okay, so we're just heading home. It's just gotten like really hot all of a sudden, so I'll finish the story when I get home. See you in a bit. So me and Cole are home now. <laughs> Excuse the hair. Um, so where was I? Okay, yeah, so little did I know, a few months later, this film did fantastic at the film festival. And the name of that film was Colin. It was about a man named Colin who was getting ready for a party when he's attacked by a zombie. He manages to get out of the house, but realises he's been bitten. After transforming into a zombie, Colin ventures out into the undead, filled streets of London. Yeah, just making some milk and tea for call but yeah so this got massive news coverage he was doing interviews on BBC News for creating a film on such a low budget he did tours across the UK so I was disappointed to say the least that I missed this opportunity looking back I wish I just took the time off but I wouldn't have been paid and I needed to pay rent at that time or asked for lower hours just to help out when I could but you would think I would learn from this, but it's not the only time this has happened, and I'll tell you in another video. If you get anything from this video, if you ever get an opportunity to work with someone on a project that could help you move forward in your career, and it's your passion, just do it. Have a great day. If you like this video, subscribe below and leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.